crews race to part of the Cumberland north of downtown today. Nashville Fire and the Office of Emergency Management put a boat in the water along the Metro Center Greenway. And Metro Police flew their helicopter. Now, in the end, the search was very short-lived. It turned up nothing more than debris in the water. One week since he vanished, Riley Strain remains missing. The Missouri College student went missing after security at Luke Bryan's bar on Broadway escorted him out last Friday night. The state is investigating whether the bar overserved him. But the bar said today their records show he was served just one drink and two waters. News 2's Sarah Smith shares the latest on the search efforts tonight. Seven days, almost to the minute, Riley leaves the bar alone and seemingly disappears. The latest from a spokesperson at Luke Bryan's bar says Riley Strain had one alcoholic drink and two waters last Friday. When a security guard asked him to leave, a friend walks him to the door but didn't leave with him. Family wonders why. There's some frustration there. Why this boy was out on the street by himself. Why his friends weren't with him. I just don't understand. But well, there's a lot of questions still on that end of the scenario. It's unclear where Riley was before coming to this bar with his fraternity. The Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission is looking into if he was overserved. The family tells us TABC did contact them this morning. You can see him here near Church Street about 10 minutes after he left Luke Bryan's. There's people walking through there in the same time frame. There's people on scooters. Within yeah. that, within a five minute range before and after Riley went missing, there's there's a considerable amount of activity on that street and enough. His last known location, though, near the Cumberland River off First Avenue North and Gay Street. Metro PG not suspecting foul play in this case. Emergency management using sonar to search the river. We're still concentrating on the final bridge that he never came out from under. Anything that happened up to that point, we'll deal with when we when we can. The previous, you know, anything before there is great, but it doesn't solve where how he where he went. Right now, the family is focusing on the river and the homeless encampments for answers. In Nashville, Sarah Smith, News Two. And while law enforcement searches Nashville, Riley's family friends home in Missouri are doing, doing what they can, too. They have spent the last week sifting through thousands of online tips. Chris Dingman has been active in a Facebook group with more than 19,000 people, all sharing information about Riley. He says he's received countless messages, tips, and theories about Riley. He looks into every single one of them, then shares what he's learned with the Strain family each night. The family's focus right now remains on the river. Dingman's says they have received several tips out of a homeless encampment in the area. We have had a very, very good experience with them. Um, we have had a couple more leads that has popped up via them. Uh, we are really appreciating that because at this moment, uh, that is literally the last evidence we have of Riley. Now, Chris has asked ride shares to search through their dash cam video from Friday night. He asked anyone who has seen surveillance videos with Riley to please come forward with anything they remember. And we're continuing to follow this story as it develops. You can find the latest updates on our website at WKRN.com. Coverage is on the homepage.